Hi, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to tell you how to compute sines, cosines, and tangents. These uh, are actually ratios based on a right angle triangle. You can see the right angle triangle here. Here's the right angle. We label these sides the opposite side, that is the side opposite this angle we call theta, the adjacent side, the one next to this angle, and of course the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle in the right angle triangle. So we actually know that when we divide, for example, the opposite side, the length of the opposite side by the length of the hypotenuse, we get a quantity which we call sine, and we call it sine theta, the sine of the angle theta, is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. The cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Here's the adjacent side, the length of this side, divided by the hypotenuse, the length of the hypotenuse. And finally, tan theta, tangent of theta, the opposite over the adjacent, the length of this side over the length of this side. Because these numbers, sine, cosine, and tangent, for a particular angle are always the same, it means that if we know the angle and one of these sides, we can calculate the others in a right angle triangle. This quantity is used in mathematics elsewhere also, but not necessarily in relation to a right angle triangle. Here's a simple example of a 90 degree, 45 degree, 45 degree triangle, a right angle triangle. The length of this side is 1, the length of this side is 1, and therefore the length of this side is the square root of 2. This is high, uh, Pythagoras' theorem that this side is the square root of this squared plus this squared. Therefore it's the square root of 2. So if I want to do this, sine of 45 is the opposite over the hypotenuse, 1 over root 2. Cosine of 45 is also 1 over root 2. And the tangent of the angle of 45 degrees is 1. 1 divided by 1. So sines, cosines and tangents can be looked up in a table. As long as you know the angle, then you can work out any side, you know the other angles, but you can work out the length of any of the sides. So that is how to compute with sines, cosines and tangents.